gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop playing this, gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta playing this. What's up gamers, I'm John, and welcome back to my Level Up News, where I bring you the latest and greatest in gaming news every day. Today's November 25th, 2024, and we've got an exciting lineup of stories. From the comeback of Pokemon cards and Stalker 2's first big patch to Fortnite's Game Awards innovations and controversy around Hogwarts Legacy 2. We're also diving into messing banners in Genshin Impact and reflections from Helldivers 2 devs on the state of the industry. Let's get you leveled up with today's news, and don't forget to join our Discord to share your thoughts. Wired reports that Pokemon cards are making a modern comeback, ditching traditional binders in favor of a sleek, digital-first approach. The Pokemon company has launched a new app that allows players to collect, trade, and battle with cards online, mimicking the tactile experience of physical collections. Longtime fans are excited about the innovation, but some purists argue that there is nothing that beats the feeling of holding real cards. With competitive play being fully integrated into the platform, it's clear that this move is aimed to add brain in the iconic TCG into the digital era. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a new fan, this app is designed to appeal to you all. Are you ready to embrace the future of Pokemon cards, or are you sticking with your binders? Let me know in your comments down below. Kotaku reveals that the latest Windows update has introduced optimizations for Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Nexus signaling Microsoft's renewed focus on PC gaming. These improvements include better frame rates, reduced latency, and streamlined capability with the latest hardware. The update also fixes long-standing issues with third-party controllers earning praise from gamers tired of clunky workarounds. However, some players have reported minor bugs since the update, prompting Microsoft to promise quick patches. As more blockbuster titles lean on cutting-edge tech, these updates should shape the future of PC gaming. Are these enhancements enough to make your gaming experience smoother, or are you waiting for more substantial changes? Let me know your comments down below. GamesRadar reports that Stalker 2 has received its first major patch, targeting main quest blockers, crashers, and other crucial issues. Developer GSC Game World has assured fans that they're fully committed to constantly improving the shooter despite the challenges of a war term development environment. The patch also includes minor performance tweaks to ensure smoother gameplay for players across various systems. Fans have praised the studio's transparency and dedication, noting that updates are a step in the right direction. However, some still feel the game has a way to go before it's truly polished. With these fixes, will Stalker 2 finally deliver the immersive experience players have been waiting for? Variety reports that Fortnite is revolutionizing how players engage with the game awards by integrating voting directly into the game. Using Epic's MetaHuman technology, players can cast their votes in dynamic in-game events that also reward them with exclusive cosmetics. Jeff Keighley has praised this partnership, calling it a groundbreaking way to merge gaming and community engagement. However, some critics argue this method may favor Fortnite fans over the border gaming audience. Still, the innovation has sparked excitement with other developers considering similar integrations for their games. Are we seeing the future of interactive award ceremonies or is this just another marketing ploy? Enemy reports that Powerwall developers have addressed rumors that their game was snubbed from the Game Awards due to ongoing legal battles with Nintendo. Despite topping sales charts in Japan and gaining global popularity, Powerwall failed to secure any nominations. The team has clarified that their absence is unrelated to the legal drama and said citing differences in the nomination process. Fans of the survival crafting game have taken to social media to express their disappointment, calling for greater recognition of indie successes. With or without awards, Powerwall continues to thrive in a competitive market. Do you think it deserved a spot among the nominees? Let me know your comments down below. Gaming Bible reports that a petition to delay the announcement of Hogwarts Legacy 2 has gained traction following concerns about the original game's controversies. Critics argue that the developer should address lingering issues including representation and exclusivity before moving forward with a sequel. On the other hand, fans of the franchise are eager for more magical adventures and feel the backlash is unwarranted. Warner Brothers has yet to respond to the petition but is reportedly evaluating feedback carefully. The debate highlights ongoing tensions between artist versions and social representation in gaming. Where do you stand on the push for change versus the call for progress? Let me know your comments down below. GamesRadar reports that Helldivers 2 developers have spoken out about the challenges that the gaming industry is facing despite their recent award success. 
In interviews, they emphasize the importance of collaboration and support among studios to navigate increasingly difficult market conditions. The team also expressed concerns about crunch culture and rising production costs, calling for a systematic change. Fans have praised their honesty, with many resonating with their call for a more suitable industry. While their game has been a crucial and commercial hit, it's clear that devs are thinking beyond just numbers. Is the gaming industry ready to address these issues, or will it take more than just voices to drive change? And that's a wrap for today's gaming news. From the return of Pokemon cards to Helldivers 2's reflections on the industry, we got a lot covered today. Don't forget to join our community on Discord to share your thoughts, connect with other gamers, and get exclusive updates. The invite link is down in the description below. Drop a comment below, hit that like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you don't never miss out on Level Up News. See you next time, gamers.